Hi guys, welcome back to my channel RC Putsi with me Putsi and for today's tutorial I'm going to create this kind of bronzy eye look with very bold red lips and first of all I'm going to do my eyes first as per usual and I'm going to use this Elgar Pro Conceal in the color medium beige as my eye primer and I'm going to put that all over my lid and blend them all in with this Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques and I'm going to set that concealer with this kind of yellowy color from the Revealed One palette from Coastal Sands and just put them all over my lid wherever I put that concealer and I'm going to use this Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color sun bronze and I'm just going to put that all over my crease as my transition shade and I'm not going to put this precisely just slap them all in to the crease so we'll have kind of more like a blown up effect and I'm going to use this Maybelline color tattoo in the color bed to the bronze and I'm also going to put this all over my crease but this time I'm going to put this precisely onto the crease because since I'm going to put this color also to the lid I'm going to use this to the crease so we'll have kind of more like nice transition from the lid to the crease since this is a very creamy kind of moussey have that kind of moussey consistency just be patient with this and just building up the color slowly little by little and then I'm going to put this really nice cool tone brown from the palette and put them wherever we put that bronze color just to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit and I'm also going to use this nice brown color from the palette with the first brush we used before and since this is a very similar color to the previous bronzer that we used I'm just going to put this also wherever I put that bronzer also just, just to kind of deepen up the crease more moving on to the lid I'm going to put this Maybelline color tattoo again but this time right into the lid and if you want to have a full effect from this product you have to use either your finger or a synthetic brush because this has like I said before a more creamy moussey consistency just slowly building up the color to the lid And after that, I'm going back with this cool tone brown But this time I'm going to put this right on the outer V of my eye and slowly drag them in to the crease a little bit And moving on to the face fur, before we finish up the eye, I'm going to use this Monistat Chaffing Relief Powder Gel as my face primer. Just put them over my face and blend them all in. And then I'm going to use this orange corrector from LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm just going to put that wherever I have more like a dark pigmentation and I'm also going to put this under my eyes to kind of brighten up the area a little bit and then I'm also going to blend them all in with this Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Technique and then I'm also going to use this concealer again but this time put them wherever I have like a more redness spot since I have a lot of scars I mean most of my face are red but just put them wherever I feel like it has really really prominent red 
and I'm going to use this Sephora Minerals powder foundation and I'm in the color medium I am going to put liquid foundation after this and I'm doing this to kind of minimize the oiliness of my skin and I learned these techniques from Wayne Goss so if you have a really really oily skin you can try these techniques put a powder foundation first and then you can apply a liquid foundation after that and since I have very large pores and acne scars and I'm kind of buff this product into the skin with this sponge really push them into the skin like so just pat them all in nicely to the skin and then after that I'm going to wipe all the excess product with this very big powder brush from Real Techniques also and for my foundation today I'm going to use this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation in the color 857 I believe this is golden tan and I'm going to put that right into my sponge and then tap them into my face and just blend them into the skin and also I'm not going to do a circular motion I'm just going to pat them nicely onto the skin really push the product in And then for my concealer, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm in the color 205 medium, just put them under the eye, create this kind of triangular shape under the eye and then I'm going to put this on my nose, on my chin, on my forehead, my cupid a little bit and blend everything again with the same brush, I mean sponge. Yeah, when your hair always gets in the way, I get really frustrated. And to kind of bake under the eye and set all my foundation and concealer, I'm going to use this RCMA No Color Powder. I'm not going to bake my face heavily but I'm going to put this powder wherever I put my concealer in with a damp sponge. And I'm going to use this Kabuki brush from e.l.f. to set the rest of my face. Yeah, smile a little. And to bronze up my face, I'm not really contouring. I'm going to use this Rimmel Natural Bronzer again and and as I said before, I'm in the color Sun Bronze. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. Not really contouring but yeah. But just a little bit just to give my face a little bit of shape and put them all over my forehead also along my hairline and using this powder again this time I'm kind of baking the side of my face just so that I have a more nice kind of contouring effect and 
and after that I'm going to wipe out all of the powder that we use under the eye and also wherever I kind of bake and for my blush I'm going to use this Milani baked blush in the color Coralina just put them on the apple of my cheeks And moving back to the eyes, I'm going to use this LA Girl Gel Glide Liner in the color Deep Bronze to tight line, apply them to my waterline. And I'm also going to smoke out the lower lash line with the eyeliner with this pencil brush. And I'm going to put this color onto my lower lash line just to kind of smoke everything a little bit. And I'm applying this color just to the outer part of the lower lash line. And I'm also going to apply this color to the middle part of the lower lash line. Just blend this color to the color we used before. I'm also going to put this color to the inner part of the lower lash line and then blend all those colors together so we have nice kind of gradient lower lash line and I'm going to put this color to highlight my brow bone I'm going to use this color to highlight the inner corner I really like this color it really brightens up my eye a little bit and I'm going to use this Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner I really really love this eyeliner it has a really nice tip it has a brush tip and it makes applying eyeliner more easily but as you can see this is really hard to apply your eyeliner at the same time recording it and I'm going to use this Elegor gel glide liner again to tight line my eyes so apparently I haven't tight lined my eyes before and to finish up the look I'm going to use this Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Creeper it's a mini version because it comes in a set in a set of 5 this is a really really beautiful red color if you like red lipstick I think you should get this one and just put them all over my lips and <laughs> sing a little bit And that completes the look guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much, I'll see you next time, bye guys!